Feels like human skin. What's a wiener? What's a wiener? Honestly, I'm gonna be judgmental. I give you a wiener a five. I give you a taco a three. Not every day that you meet someone as cool as me. What do you think, honey? Huh? I got myself a new hula hoop, and guess what, bitch? Do you see how smooth this is? When I was young in church, I would get hula hoops at church, like not even these, like the thin ones. And all of me and my little elementary school church friends, we would pretend that we were hula hoop dancers. So we would dead ass in the gym at church be like, Can I get a standing ovation for my performance? Can you not just Some would say that I am the epitome, the definition of grace, sophistication, elevated sense of style, a futuristic visionary, a model. Who says that? <laughs> My mom. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to today's vlog. I am really excited for today's vlog because I saw Chris Clemens do this video and I was thinking to myself, holy sh that's actually so true. There are so many different fast food chains, especially since I moved out to California. And I was thinking to myself, okay, what else have I not tried yet? Like even the, the fact that I do mukbangs every single week, that how can there possibly be fast food chains that I haven't tried? And there are. The three that we're gonna be trying today is El Pollo Loco and Del Taco and Wiener Schnitzel. Win Wiener Schnitzel. Wiener Schnitzel. What? It's really hard to say. I think that's why I haven't tried it because imagine me being like, dun dun, today we're eating wiener snacks. Before we get started, I just want to mention something. Some weird shit's been going on in this house. Let me just give you a quick story time. I know you guys are here for the food, but I'm here for a story time. So the other day I ordered this book and I didn't look at the book after I ordered it. My mom opened the Amazon package, took the book out and then set the book down on the table. And then I was like, oh my God, later I'm going to get that book and I'm going to read that book, right? And so I bring it into the office and I'm laying there and my fiance is laying there with me and I was like, hey, can you read me this book? Like as like a bedtime story because I might take a quick nap in this office. And he was like, sure. And I thought I thought I was getting trolled or I was like delusional, but I'm like, that doesn't sound like English. Like, is he trolling me? Like, is he speaking in Mandarin? Like, what is this gibberish that he's speaking right now? What do you mean that doesn't sound like English? What do you mean? Obviously, I wasn't speaking well, in English. Yeah, but I thought because you were so just like, this was him. Let me explain. He just opened the book, right? He goes, okay. <sighs> Chapter one. Quinto sul monte atri, chrono trova la suela re, quel fratello bello e... Yes. I read it with a lot more emotion <laughs> than enthusiasm. No. So he was reading it so enthusiastic and there was no part of him that was like, why did you get a book in a different language? Like he just read it with his whole entire heart and soul, right? And then I'm like, is something wrong with me? Like, why can't I understand what he's saying? So I look at the book. It's not in English at all. And so I'm wondering, why did I purchase this book? I know, that's why I'm saying something weird's happening. You I don't want... think I ordered this. Stephen Fry Methos. Okay, can you not make it sound like it's meth? It's mythos. A mythos. It's about the Greek legends, the Greek myths. Imite. Okay, okay, <laughs> you'll go get cancelled. I don't know what language this is, so if you guys know, please leave it in the comments. It says in the back, I'm gonna read this for um, answer purposes. It's not like me making fun of the language. I really want to know what language it is. I don't think it's Spanish. We thought maybe Italian because it's in euros, so it's euro 19,80. And then it says Nelle Story Delgi de Dell'Antica. Grecia, and that's not the only thing, okay? So my fiance was telling me the other day that he had his earbuds on, and our dogs poop in the front lawn, right? So he has to do this thing every couple of days where he gets a massive pooper scooper. It's literally like a shovel made for poop, and you put a poopy bag on it, and then you poop the poop in there, right? You scoop the poop in there, okay? And so he's out there with his earbuds on, scooping the poop. And then he said he got really distracted. What happened? There's some poop <laughs> stuck on the stick. <laughs> okay. And now he's waving the stick <laughs> to get rid of the poop. I was doing this. You were just, why would you think that's a good idea? So I'm trying to get rid of it and then waving and then one of my earbuds fell off. Earbuds just flew out as I was smacking on the ground. And I was like, oh my god, I went into the poop. And then, no, it, I was on this open grass area. Yeah. And that earbud just disappeared. And he searched for 30 minutes. I couldn't find it. That's so creepy. That makes it's me It's like so you drop something, drop on the ground and just like poof, gone. Gone. And then I swear to you, it's gonna be so creepy. Like if we ever move out of here, the day we move out, we're gonna find that AirPod. Yeah, that it's just gonna be like 10 years later. I'm yeah. gonna 
open my book like, oh, here you are. In this book, there's gonna be an earbud in here. Yeah. So first question, right? This happened a couple weeks ago. First question is where is the earbud and why haven't we found it? And then why hasn't like the gardener found it? Because he would just give it to us if he found it, you know? And then second question, he just told me this. Why did you wait like three weeks to tell me this? This is something that I would come screaming from the outside, come in, that you only have one earbud. I mean, what are you gonna do? <laughs> but anyways, I digress. The rant is over. We're gonna be trying the fast food restaurants that I have yet to try before. I wanna do Wiener Schnitzel the first. This is Wiener Schnitzel. I keep saying different names every single time. This one was kind of expensive. So the first thing we have are these jalapeno poppers. I've never tried this. I don't really see a lot of fast food chains with jalapeno poppers, so I'm excited. And then, I think their whole thing is, first of all, wieners and chili. So this is a chili cheeseburger. What's a wiener? What's a wiener? What is it's it? a hot dog. So they're like a hot dog chain, oh. I think. And they do lots of chili stuff. So I have a chili cheeseburger. This bit cost me $5. So I already feel like I'm not gonna enjoy it because this looks like the most smushy, soggy sandwich for $5. But I digress. And then we've got this. What the Shut fuck? up. This was $5. Shut up. Shut up. So it has cheese, <laughs> it has a cut in half hot dog with a pickle in the middle and just bread that's not even toasted. Five dollars, guys. Here are all the hot dogs. So the first hot dog, we got the OG chili cheese hot that dog. Um, I feel like I haven't had a lot of chili in my life. And then this one is a french fry hot dog. Oh no. So it's got french fries, grilled onions, some mustard, kind of smells like in and out And then we've got the last thing, which is Thousand Island fries. I looked it up and people said this is like the animal style fries. It looks mm. the same. <laughs> I guess we're just gonna try it. Honestly, I'm gonna be judgmental. <laughs> this does not look appealing already. I don't know, something about the way that this fast food looks looks like what you would imagine fast food to look like. McDonald's, you still open that shit up and you're like, damn, that looks forking good. This, I don't know where to start. I mean, I guess we're gonna start with a jalapeno popper and I'm just gonna... It's really just dough. I'm really interested to try this sandwich because this does not look like five dollars for me. So, I mean, listen, they didn't even have like a value menu. Why am I folding it like a hot dog? <laughs> it's just all bread. This feels like some shit that I'd make when it hasn't been grocery days in two weeks. And this is all I got and I want to eat a sandwich. I got bread and I got one hot dog left. A little sliver of a pickle and like don't even toast the bread. Let's try this. People compare this to animal fries. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. That's not bad. It's not bad. The fries can be a little more crisp, but you know, what am I, a food connoisseur? I'm it's not. not bad. Okay, I'm gonna try this french fry hot dog. I have a feeling I'm gonna like this one. Is their meat all kind of mushy? Yeah. I like a foreign hot dog, you know what I mean? Oh, like the meat burst the when meat, you bite yeah, it. Yeah, kind of juicy. And yeah, it's got like that pop texture. feeling. This one I had to pay an extra dollar for because I got a pretzel bun instead of a regular oh, bread. Okay. Yeah. It tastes like my throw up. Mm, I see. All of this could be so good. But like they just are like 80% there. This is the last thing I got from them, which is their chili cheeseburger. Again, $5. This looks like it could be on a value menu, but it wasn't. And $5. That's insane. I kind of like it. You like it? I kind of really? like it, yeah. Really? I like chili. I like eat it. all the chili, the boat. Right. There you go. If you have peanut too, boo. I thought wiener schnitzel would be like the best wiener I put into my mouth today. If you guys are actual Mexican food connoisseurs, if you're Mexican or if you have been eating Mexican food for your entire life, which fast food chain is the most authentic? Not Mine. like authentic, but like, hey, like if I'm really craving some dank ass Mexican food and there's nothing around me, like I'm nowhere near any mom and pop Mexican restaurant, like which one would you go to? Probably not Taco Bell. But like, would it be Del Taco? Would it be El Pollo Loco? Let's try it. Okay, so from Del Taco, I got a Beyond Meat Burrito. <laughs> <laughs> Opposite I know. <laughs> I got some chili fries or some nacho fries. I got this because I really like the nacho fries from Taco Bell, but they're like seasonal. And then I also got a soft taco. <laughs> <laughs> and then these are donut balls, which reminds oh me of Taco God. Bell. Taco Bell's, uh, what is it called? Cinnamon Delight. Let me, let me be the judge. <laughs> he loves their cinnamon delights. The bit's gonna eat literally 12 cinnamon delights by himself. 
No filling. No filling, but it's good. I like mm. it. This is really good. It's a lot okay. fluffier on the inside, no, than the Taco mm -hmm. Bell one. Yeah. I mean, the Taco Bell has the cream, but this is fluffy. It's good. Wow, mm. Del Taco. It's okay. like a warm donut. I'm going to break this in half because this is a California burger or burrito, which means there's French fries in it. I didn't know that for the longest time, but apparently a California burrito, you just stick some fries in it. I don't like that. I don't like it. And the squishiness mm -hmm. of this feels like human skin. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I saved the best for last. I don't know why I've never tried it. Patricia says El Pollo Loco is chef's kisses. And I'm kind of excited about it. I got a tortilla what? soup. They give you so much stuff. You get a bag of chips, but you also get some crazy salsas. Got some salsas. Oh okay, welcome to the best saved for last. Ready? I'm gonna open up this El Pollo Loco. Bits, that looks so good. That looks so good, yeah. It's grilled chicken. That's what they do. And then they also have this corn. I heard amazing things about this corn. Everyone on Reddit was like, get the fucking corn. So I got the fucking corn. I mean, so presentation-wise? It feels like a real meal. This doesn't even, it's Love not even on the same food. level as the yeah. other two. But I spent the same amount of money, I think, from Del Taco and El Pollo Loco. Mashed potatoes. I love the chips and salsa that they do. Oh, it smells spicy. I know it smells green, it looks green and doesn't look spicy, but it's like one of those. It smells uh, the tortilla soup. I'm excited about this soup. I can't believe fast food joints have soup now. There's chicken. Mmm. It tastes like chicken noodle soup, but with like grilled essence. Essence of grilledness. Essence of grilledness. Yes. Of grilledness. Wow, let's try these chips and salsa. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. Mm. Good. Okay. I'm gonna try a chicken. I'm excited. Why does it look so good? Looks like rotisserie chicken. Okay, okay. It's not the juiciest, but it's good. A little dry, but for the price, amazing. For all of it, I got a, I got it for like $11, all of this. It's actually really good. I like it. I mm. like this chicken. This corn is so good. Mmm. Mm. Not bad. That's good. Okay, how would you rate Del Taco versus El Pollo Loco? Loco pollo, I give it. I need El pollo. <laughs> El pollo loco. Sorry. I give it um, seven point five. Really? Five. Where's Jollibee? 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 Nine point five. Nine point five is Jollibee. Where's like McDonald's and Taco Bell? McDonald's? We we'll get a seven point five to eight. And then they just have variety. Taco Bell's, I give it a um like six. No offense. <laughs> Everything tastes the same. Taco no, Bell, you get one item. You get one thing. <laughs> I haven't been craving it as much because they took away the fucking potatoes. It's officially gone now. I love the chalupa. And then what is this? It was 7.5. And same with McDonald's? Maybe a little bit lower. And then what about 4. Del Taco? Del Taco? What's Del Taco again? Ah, <laughs> uh, like a five. Okay, what about Wiener Schnitzel? Like a five. I give you a Wiener a five too, so I'm <laughs> just kidding. I give you a taco at three. Underwhelming, but you know what? I actually thought Carl's Jr. and Wendy's was pretty underwhelming. I agree. And I'm not the biggest fan of Burger King either. But I kind of, like Burger King is one of those things. The first time I was like, mm, it's okay, right? And then the second time I was like, mm, it's okay. And then the third time I'm like, pretty good. Mm -hmm. And then I feel like if I keep shoving Burger King down my throat, I'm gonna end up loving it. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, maybe I shouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it is an acquired taste. Let me know in the comments what other fast food restaurants have you guys not tried before. I think there's there's one. White Castle left. I haven't had Subway in years. You know what I've seen everybody's raging about? <gasps> Sonic! Sonic? I don't know what Sonic It's like a gas station. It's not a gas station, but it's set up like a gas station and you wait in your car and they come out on roller skates and they hand you your food. Shut up. Yeah, and then there's a TikTok video of an employee. Poor what dude. Kind of he got that? out with platters of food and he was roller skating and then he fell and it just got all over him. That's okay, so we need cool. to do Sonic. We need to do White Castle. We need to do what? A burger. I have a feeling I might have messed up my stomach on this video, so I'm gonna finish my El Pollo Loco. I don't think I'm gonna finish the Wiener Schnitzel, but I'm definitely gonna finish my El Pollo Loco for lunch, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Let me know if you guys have tried these fast food restaurants and if you enjoy them, or what's your favorite fast food restaurant in your area? I feel like the South, it's Zaxby's. Why is there not a Zaxby's everywhere? I wanna know. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh